for Pierre Polyev, it just keeps getting better. You'd think it, you know, his polling numbers and his support would have kind of topped out at some point, but apparently not. So, Polling Canada released federal polling amongst immigrants only. 44% conservatives, 26% liberal, 19% for the NDP. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, wait a minute, Danny, this isn't that good information, that good of information because the liberals are polling higher with immigrants than any other demographic. That's true. It is where liberals do the best. They're still behind 18 points. Even people that Trudeau is letting into the country hate him. His policies are so bad. These people are coming over and, you know, hey, I'm going to start a new life in Canada. And they look around and go, what the hell is going on here? Why is everyone pooping on the streets? Why are there so many people who are homeless? Wait, they're giving out drugs in British Columbia now? Okay, I'm out of here. Like, they're just going home. Or the ones who are staying here, some people are going home. The ones who are staying here, though, seem to be well on the road to voting conservative. Yeah, 26%, it's too high. But considering that that's the best area that liberals are performing in, and they're still getting smashed, <laughs> I mean, this is going to be a landslide that you're going to, that we may have never even seen before. Well, I mean, maybe in 2011, when, you know, Michael Ignatieff was the, uh, was the leader of the Liberal Party. But even then, I mean, I think they lost, they got down to like 34 seats. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it very well could. You might even see less than 30 seats for the Liberals after this next election, which again is great news and should put a smile on all of your faces like it is me right now. Now, the other interesting thing we have here, I know it must be a little bit annoying that I'm really into polls these days, but I think this information is really, really, really interesting. So we also have here... Another article from Polling Canada. When do you want the next federal election? Fall, winter of 2024, 42%. Fall 2025, as scheduled, 32%. Sometime in between, so the spring, summer 2025, 12, winter 2025, 9. So you're talking like about 60 or so percent of the population wants an election before the election is scheduled. Are we going to get one? That's the whole you know, question that we got to ask ourselves here. And honestly, I, I don't know. Jugmeet Singh is getting his pension in February. The carbon tax is going up again in April. With those two things, Jugmeet Singh say, might say, okay, Canadians are so upset, we better call an election. Not to mention, in some polling update that I did yesterday, Jugmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau in a lot of polls are neck and neck. Some polls even show the NDP slightly ahead. So if you're Jugmeet Singh, if this can continue once he qualifies for his pension, because it's not going to happen before he gets his pension, but once that happens, if his numbers are still around or a little bit above Trudeau, that's when I think it would be the best time for him to call an election as well, because that would give him the best chance to be the uh, le- the <clears throat> to make the NDP the official opposition party, which for the NDP, considering that they're basically broke, would be the best thing that they can hope for. You should go check out Clyde Do Something's YouTube channel as well, because he did a great article, um, or read a, a great article. I think he broke it down with uh, Alex Zoltan, where they were talking about how broke and how horrible uh, the NDP's financial policy is. Now, the fact that people will still vote for him, knowing that they're broke and knowing that their 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 constituency office is only open for 14 hours a week and the lights are never on and no one's ever in the office... It's kind of interesting how you you vote for a party who can't even manage that, but you think they can manage a country. It ain't going to happen. And if it does happen, we are in big, big trouble. Trust me when I say this. As much as I want to see Justin Trudeau fall to the absolute bottom like we all do, if Jugmeet Singh ever gets to be prime minister, we're in big trouble. I promise you right now, he would be much worse. Somehow, much worse than Justin Trudeau. Much worse. Just, again, think about it. He can't manage finances at all. And this is a guy who wants to raise taxes to bring in even more money to mismanage. Horrible. NDP supporters need to understand that. This party is not what you think it is. It's a socialist party. It's not for the workers. It's not for the people. It's not for Canada. It's basically... a. a it's, like a, it's like a money ham, a hemorrhaging <laughs> political party. That's all they do. They just hemorrhage money. That's it. 
They don't know anything about growing an economy, running a business, nothing like that. So please keep that in mind if you're thinking about voting for the NDP. I know you may have some problems with the Conservatives. Right now, Pierre Polyev is the best we got by far. You may have some concerns about Pierre Polyev, which I do, but that should not keep you from voting for him, considering he is, again, I can't stress this enough, he is the best option, and it's not even close. But let me know what you think about these numbers in the comment section. I always enjoy reading uh, these comments that you guys um, leave me. I'm also going to be doing, I, I do also want to take video suggestions as well. Someone left a comment yesterday wanting me to do something on Bill C-293, which is essentially a bill to try to, you know, stop Canadians from eating meat. I'm still doing uh, some research on that, so but I will be making that video within the, the next few days. But any other things you, you guys want to see, please let me know. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.